Move one, we're back at Warhammer 40,000. Go trade it. We are in Fausto. This is where some refugees were sent from Footfall, I think it was. Over here. Monastery of the Order of the Hammer. It says Monastery and Hammer, I think it's some mechanical stuff. Lord Captain, we've received a transmission from Fausto. Oh shit, I've got to talk to think this about something. Um, Fausto. Sent by members of the Order of the Hammer. Votaries of St. Cognatius. Monastery is the only settlement on the planet. No, well, there used to be. Some time ago, a transport vessel, the Navica, unloaded several thousand refugees from a planet belonging to a rogue trader Winterscale. Remember that? That came from the episodes ago. The Order of the Hammer has judged this invasion to be an act of aggression and is asking your leadership for the refugees who came from Kiava Gamma, which is also my protector, if I remember correctly. Oh no, hang on. No, they came from Winter Scales. Was that from Rickard Manoris? I can't remember. These people are victims, not invaders. Bear my shuttle, I shall head to the plant and resolve this conflict. As it pleases your ladyship. Okay. Look the artwork. Chronicle compiled by the humble archivist for the Petricos. Six score and eleven days after the feast of the passing of Nicomedes, if champion of faith, the squietude marred the calm of the monastery of the Order of the Hammer. Countless tortured souls, steeped in fear, arrived on foul stone in a star bark. Great apostasy had befallen their home, turned them into abject wanderers seeking help and refuge. The wicked and cruel captain, the owner of the Navica, had betrayed them. Once the unknowing souls and his care had made landfall on the world's surface, he must deviously recalled his shuttles and left us rid himself of his duty of care to the auctioneer. Not knowing how they would survive in Falstone's grim wastelands, the forsaken people came to the monastery of the St. Cornatius. There they surrounded its walls, they hammered their fists on his gate and implored in a way of take his in, protect us. And what was once a place of serenity and grace was now full of din, disorder, and all manner of things despicable. The interlopers brought them the worldly futility and strife, and mayhap also the seas of allure and blasphemies. If fiendly heathens lurked in the midst. In prayer, they let Hectarchus, Hectarchus, then his eye to the past church of. let Hectarchus. Recall the first missionaries to set foot on Faustone's vast wasteland, led by their zeal for servants St. Cognatius. Those missionaries had received the blessing of Nic Nicomedes Keith, a champion of faith who had travelled with them in their star bark, to found in this place a humble and pure abode wherein, wherein to cultivate wisdom and piety. St. Cognatius, a man of great endeavours, a warrior and a wise artificer, never cowered behind the walls of a librarium. Stepped bravely into the darkness, carrying light in the palm of his hand. He commanded others to do the same. Not only Fausto, but many other words of the current expanse bear its imprint. And Prelate Hectarchius did welcome the interlopers, warmly as his guests. But he did keep his brethren, keep their vigilance. Okay, that's fair enough. The brethren and sisters of the Order of the Hammer came forth to meet the strangers, carrying water and protein victual medicinal herbs and jugs of Prometheum. But the crowd came to blows over viands of viands. And blood was spilt, and many were trampled and mauled in the stampede of some of them dwellers of the Bond Street. The captain wasn't feeding them. Then the warriors of the Order of the Hammer donned their flak cows, described words of praise to the God Emperor on their tactical visors, and went forth, ready to render service in battle. 
the bloodscones and bolters that pierced interlopers with the chainsaws, power flails they struck them. And a great and bloody harvest was reaped that day. But the interlopers too, scant though their armoured ways was, and scant their skill in battle, slew many of the monastery dwellers, for great was their numbers and greater their desperation. Monks fled beyond their walls, and van the Vox Alarum. He shut the gate and commanded the armed guards to keep watch over the gate, slain any who approached. A quarrel broke out. The hungry and the sick lay siege to the monastery, begging for help. In their spite, they blocked the water collector and unpowered the genitorium. Faithful, in the meantime, made ready to resist. And a miracle came to pass. The god emperor sent his champion, his confidant, his right hand, the rogue trade of the blessed house from Valencius, and the light of his grace remained upon them forever. That's it, Rogue Tader. Some of them are getting to talk to each other. Summon Prelate Heptarchius and the leaders of the interlopers to hold each to account for their deeds. The strangers, prodigious in number, beseech the rogue trader to take them in and give them shelter and protection as to her own servants. And spake, they say, Long have we wandered, swiftly have we fled. Many a woe nor deal has befallen us. Of many a father and son are we bereft. Now the warp hath taken the last of our strength, and we shall be no more. Well, you came from Winterscale. Winterscale didn't help you. And they spoke further, saying, Without thy holy protection we are doomed. For we fear annihilation at the hands of our kin who remain behind. I haven't fallen away from the sublime light of the Emperor that descended to bloody sedition and became murderers with no mercy. All were. Both prelate Hectarchius house is pure and secluded abode. By worldly futility we are untouched, and so we wish to remain. Those unknown souls seek for our abode, but it's a calamity of ours, for they are people malicious and multitudinous and misfated. Then quoth he, If it be thy wish to confer land upon these wretches, confer it, for Faustone has arid land in abundance, but make it not our duty to care for them. That is not our path. Provide for them and provide for us, and we shall acknowledge thee as plenty be sovereign. Blessed rogue trader. <clears throat> this is my lands. My domain. I really should both. Extend the developed protection of the interlopers. Take them into care, and thereby all of Fausto. As both them and the monks hope. Humbly, the order of the hammer heeded the god emperor's confidant, and unsealed the airlocks and opened the gate of its abode, and brought forth gifts of virtue to relieve the suffering of the ill stricken after prayer the architects had to work. In accordance with the saints' teachings, the parameter set forth in the standard template construct. They went to spacious living quarters and sturdy fort walls on the plenty of militia and a spacious auditorium went to trade and store goods and a proud tensorium with the whose walls clerks and servo bondsmen would maintain order and keep statistical records. And a new yet righteous way of life came to Fausto and the people rejoiced to all was good. Oh, I can do something. Only certain worlds, usually the most hospitable, are suitable for establishing thriving colonies and ripe for development. Completing projects and colony events can earn the rogue trader unique rewards and cannot be attained by any other means. Projects are the backbone of colony development. Completing them requires resources that can be obtained by exploring planets and cosmic anomalies. This project takes time. While you continue your travels throughout the current expanse, you will receive a notification on the screen when the project is finished. Well, we knew that the reward can now be claimed. Okay. Take Drusus. I can get holy gifts. Burnico. Two handed ranged weapon. Flame. Better <coughs> armor pen. Doesn't do. 
burning my throne. Actually, profit factor. Beauty. Impus retribution. My void ship has plus five to bit against chaos enemy. Lest your protector. Thirty percent to the prow shield. Complacency is um, profit factor increased by ten percent. Speed of projects decreased by. Okay. All it gives us just um, things to sell. So high throne gives me security. This is cope with that negative event on its own. I'll say Drusus. Drusus. Thousand. Now I get efficiency there. Might of resources produced by the colony. Might of efficiency. It's not doing any resources. This is all profit factor too. Only gives profit factor. Aim for all of them. I get one complacency, one security, and one efficient. This one gives me a thousand retribution, and that. As that gives me extra. The other one gives me. Twenty percent to the front of my ship. and save that for that means I can spend a thousand reputation somewhere else. But that's now bank two is no complacency. Void plus two plus the claimants. Maglev Railway. Whenever the wearer kills the target with a melee attack, all enemies in no range. Mental death. Don't have them. Also explorators. That might be good for Ebelard or the Inquisitor guy. Cemetery of the Oh my god, so many. Black ship gains plus five bonus to Epiphany, uh, our sword. And that's all locked. Three stuff? What the hell? Oh, that's too much. That might be a bit okay, If they do a push, there's plus 100%. Plus Ten to all characteristics during the encounter back. I mean, damage. That's huge. 100% damage against demons for all colonies plus 3. Has that doubled up? Oh no. Okay, but that's not the big one yet. Hey, okay, well maybe it is. You only do one at a time. Yeah, I can only do one. 
right. But that's that done. That's going to fill in, I guess. Okay. One person, is that? Yep. I'm going to pause this because I need to pee. Until I upgrade my ship, I need that um, Imperial Navy upgrades. Okay. Telecast Epsilon, Genesis. So is it worth making a straight one straight from there to there? And then from there, Dark Governors, whatever that is. That's where a lot of things is, and things over here as well. But there's something there on the rulers. And when's belt is like heretics. Oh, it's got the little things that I've actually scanned it. I got the Omicron. Let's go here. Captain, <coughs> Captain Diamond's feud has brought down between the clans that maintain the void shield rooms. Rim has it related to the old sea and lower decks. So one of the families called for a rebellion against the Usper, a circle of the void ship base. So far, no one believes they're mad terrorists, but unless it's belong to the finish of the compartments, the ship's and forces are ready to eliminate the instigated clan or pacify the entire void ship crew. The decision is mine. Um. Wow. What's the story about Lady Theodore? Rooms of Lady Theodore's presence in the void ship have been separated for a long time. It appeared to be a deliberate provocation rather than ordinary drunken rappings. Perhaps someone is intentionally stirring up the masses to rebel against you. Perhaps it's the influence of the war. The forces are already investigating, but right now we need to stop the conflict from escalating any further. As long as the illness continues, the void ship shoots and not be operating in full capacity. Find the source of the rooms and punish those responsible. Don't want anyone to save deaths. A sensual facility will say there are no innocents in such cases. The plans are ancient type of worship, just an over a strange and obviously false rumor. So desire to convey the wishes to the forces later. Right now, the rumors must be stopped and people return to the direct duties of the place. Destroy the rebellious clan and find a replacement among the main crews. I'll see you too. Oof, that's rough. It's destroyed hundreds of people. 40k though. Oh, well, Captain, according to telemetry, the parameters of the system match those of Telecos Epsilon. Home to the Agrivo Janus, known to the Von Valen sisters. Received a Vox message from the planet. The Agri World's governor officially welcomes the rogue trader. Reports that she has begun preparations for a formal reception to celebrate the arrival of the planet sovereign. A subject to look forward to. Let's check. Whoa, shame. Now I've got all the trouble going through my head. Big planet for Arnold and Janus. No, I'll have a scan around all this. Thank you. First, not explored. Trophies. Got 
difficult to think this. Uh, the fox. Worlds with extreme environments produce the finest astro militarum -mil regiments, so I've heard. And maybe Peter Watson regards I happen to know whispered into my credulous ears. That's the three. It was not worth the last extractor. I need lithium and something else. Magnesium and Zeno. Okay, I guess I'm going to get attacked again straight away, as always. As soon as I land, there'll be some bullshit. <sighs> Very verdant. Feckend. I love that one. Dressed noble one in an opulent silk gown watches you with an expectant ear, then gracefully bows her head. Then, of course, the implants protrude from her arms and neck. You welcome me on behalf of the noble house Viet Ab Aram, Svistenza. My name is Svistenza Janus Viet Ab Aram Ab Afkronus. I've the grace of the Emperor and the will of the rogue trader Theodore of Provenantius. I serve as Pantry Governor and the Pale Commander in Chief of this world. She raises her head slightly. She stands out of the Atos to Abra. I'm going to see you, Noble Vasilian. It's been years since your last visit to Janus. I'd like to see you again. There's a good sign when a rogue trader Seneschal does not visit a subject planet for a long time. This is my correct, Lady Violet. It means the Governor is taking care of all matters and there's no need for the Seneschal to interfere. Is that a dig? She lets out a musical laugh. I hear praise in those words and I thank you for them. She turns once again. Me. In truth, the arrival in the place of the esteemed lady Von Velasquez is quite unexpected. Theodora von Valencia is dead and now the head of the days. Just tragic news, I've seen the planet observes a month of mourning. It was very quick. He's just standing there. The farmer Giles there with his fat cap on. Where was he? Him, Give standing there. Strength. Right, we've got five enemies. on my side. I'm shooting those. Really? Nothing else? I expected others to arrive. 
Right, so where was Argenta? She was there. I could put Cassia here. Right. Um, I have no idea where I'm going to pop. Oh, I've been ambushed. I can't do anything. Right. Boom. For this, yes. Hello, cheer my bed. I see a cop. That's Japan. That's two AP. Yeah. Um, let's set out these first. Range damage or penetration with quick chance, or should I have dodge? Maybe I'm not dodging. accustomed to being ordered around. Um, what line can I go here? Me, if you insist, Lord Captain. And here is range damage. Uh, here, I guess. If I may. Now, what to do with you? Got two AP. A debuff and new damage. Debuff and Oh look, it's short time. Um, that is two A three, so I keep two, so I can move, do two things. Keep the fees. I'll get both at the same time. Oh. And just kill those, I think. I'm a navigator, clad in scarlet. And Isn't this a job for the serfs? Have some fun. How about I can get there easy for these two? I'll do it. This is why I was chosen. Blowing the walls in and more coming. Ah, okay. I thought it was too easy for. So four, five, six. Shooters. Right. Doubt is for the weak. Uh, I can see the ground do from I will bathe this battlefield in righteous fury. Request 
Killing me, Smalls. Okay, that's a Cassia. It's waiting to happen. Shit again. Now it's not doing any either. I'm castigating. Navigators are feared. Yes, you will. I'll do it. Then Doubt is for the weak fabricated. Save one for that. Because when he moved, confusionist sharpshooter can't see. Can't see any of the sharpshooters. They don't get affected by it because they're out of line, so. Oh, I could have buffed. Oh, you're not fun. No, they're not, not really. Let's buff that one for scale. I'll add a lot then. Wanna see a trick? As 
the Emperor. It's real. It's a little shot. This is why I was chosen. Staff do again. If I want Jessen to target where it suffers damage. Oh. So run that way, Taking then. calculated risk is my second nature. Okay, so leave that here then. I've got two points left. Shoot that one. Number four. I'll see if I'll see that. Um. I'll make it happen. And buff. Let's it's go. as good as done. Why not? Refuse. Um, buff myself. Let's try that. And might as well. I'll make it happen. Extra resolve. Ish. Who's got extra resolve? It's me, isn't it? Incentive. You've got a problem. I've got a price. Okay. I don't see him. I'll do it. Right. With you, my emperor. As the emperor commands, I act. Doubt is for the weak. Nope, missed. Ninety fives. All oh, the ninety fives are missed. Which I have a lot. Victory is imminent. Follow yeah. my lead. Let's all charge into here. It will be done. Huh? 
I will do my duty. Just three movement to get into cover. Yes. job for the serfs. Sharpshooter, 50 damage. Your ladyship, Emperor Preservers, are you alright? Do not fret, layperson. But I'm used to outrageous sloven, sloven, slovenliness among our wardens of every world we visit. Yep. Pascal's voice, quite the first, is booming with fury that is the mark. Her brain is just strangling this peasant like a noose. His words are laden with fear for our well being, yet he fears for his own even more. Safe, protect my walls and wardens. Please follow me and escape to a person. I found my own way here. Stand aside. Right. Argenta. The himself. Emperor sets my path. Injuries will not slow me. Keep your eye on 50 prize. damage was huge. And we leveled up. So we pause this. We do a level up. We're back. Okay, that was quicker than expected. Um what did I do? Here. Fellowship. Here. Intelligence. Toughness. Magenta was the only one that I got an extra one. So I got agility and base skill. Who knows? Willpower. And fellowship again. But everyone got uh, an extra function point. Which comes in very useful. Right, let's carry on. Wow, that's a lot of um cargo. Wolf back. I need 
Shit sword. Maybe that's worse than that. Marks my life up. Look at Abelard. I think Abelard's better than the, the flak. <coughs> the improved flak was it? Uh, yeah, what he's wearing is this is medium. Who's wearing medium? He's got 41 dodge and 38 armor at the moment. But, uh, I'm plus two from investment. Not that good. So if I put that. Your wits about you. Guard in the holes. I can't grab it. Rise to the top, or get left in the dust. What a surprise. The owner fucked off and left the I tier. always have a backup plan. Like it was almost planned. This is intriguing. Tier containers marked with the familiar insignia of the Minotaurium and additional seals of the Forge World known to you. Those contain high grade weapons of the later order. How's that for um, Argenta against her bolt as she's gone? Where's that hot shot last gone? Oh, it's way worse. Way worse. Got the ammo, but then. Um, oh, that's dead. I might be giving a grenade. Hey, so set. Let us not dawdle. Most effective representations of local flora are assembled in flower bed. Unfamiliar fruits are wiping and carefully through the planks. I always keep my options open. Yes. Always keep your eye on the prize. Pick this 
sky hastily turned into a watchtower for a short time of the turbulent situation in the agri world. Yes, sir. Keep your wits about you. The I guess the astropaths have been out because of the walk storms. They couldn't really tell what's going on. And Is so there these, money to be made? These worlds have been out of contact with each other for decades. Let us not dawdle. I think I'll just do a scout of the outside here. I always inside. have a backup plan. In the next episode, because I'm guessing there's going to be lots of talking in the next episode. What's going on inside? Probably keep that for me. You know, stop with lots of dialogue. I won't miss that. I always keep my options open. Operation. No. Successful. Another world of science reigns under the arches of the gazebo, perhaps a sandbarry generator. There's a mountain in the dome. to the top or get left in the dust. The driver covering the archway gives off a delicate hay fragrance, but you do not see any flowers. Always keep your eye on the prize. Guess what I'll do? Is I will in this episode here. Next episode, I'll go down to the beach. I'll scout around here and then go inside. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I hope to see you all next episode. Bye, everyone.